Hi, and welcome to Oxygen Sports. As the gymnastics season winds down, only one more event stands in the way of a much needed vacation, the World Cup Final. In order to compete in this event, you have to be invited. And to be invited, you have to qualify based on points accumulated throughout the World Cup season. With only eight spots open for each apparatus, the competition to get here was tough. Today's final showcases four artistic events, beam, bars, floor, and vault. Gymnasts to watch out for include Russia's Elena Zemala the world vault champion who comes into the finals ranked first on vault, uneven bars, and floor, and third on beam. Another woman who qualified in all four events is 17-year-old Verona Vandalore, whose recent string of wins has brought lots of attention to her Dutch team. Most notably, Andrea Rodikon, the strongest gymnast Romania has produced in years, announced that today's competition will be the last of her career. In today's competition, now we're going to see the balance beam first. Let's take a look at the rules. So here are the final results on the balance beam at the 2002 World Cup final. Now quickly, let's get over to Verona Vandeleur from the Netherlands, the 16-year-old who is a potential medalist every time she steps up to perform on the uneven bars. I really like her. She has a very nice line. She has the correct execution, great technique that allows her to go for difficult combinations. It's important because she's very tall. Yes, she is. Five feet, five inches tall. And on the uneven bars, that can be an advantage to these long, flowing giant swings. Giant full twist into the dismount. Great execution for her. Occasionally, she goes for even a more difficult dismount with a double twist. But now she goes for the medium difficult one. Giant full, double with full twist. Great. Well, it appears the judges scored that routine from a 9-8 start value, so her score of 9-2-2-5 are the final results. The Romanian, Juana Petrovsky wins the gold with a 9-5. Jackie Dunn Silver, Verona Vandalur, the bronze. When we come back to Oxygen Sports, we're going to the vault. Get a decent score. Let's see her average 9-4-1-2, which ties her exactly with Oksana Chusovitina from Uzbekistan. They are the leaders, and they will have to wait to see if Verona Vandalur can outscore them. She's our final vaulter. Wow, high vault, the same vault as Zamolo Chikova. Start value 9.80. She's tall, and she has more amplitude on this vault. Very nice mechanics on that vault. Consistent scores across the average for the first vault. 9-3-7-5. Chusovitina waits to see her fate, as does Zama Lochikova. Oh, that was what? interesting. <laughs> well, this looks like a mystery world to me, Bart. <laughs> because she turns half here, and then she pushes, and she turns too fast in the second flight. It's a little unclear on what technique she's using on that vault. The judges gave it a 9-7 start value. 9-1-6-2, the score for that individual vault, and a 9-2-6-8 for Vandalur. So here are the final results in the vault competition. Chusovitina and Zamolochikova share the gold. Vandalur gets the bronze. When we come back, the floor exercise is next. And welcome back to the World Cup Final in Artistic Gymnastics. As you can see, it's a beautiful day here in Stuttgart, Germany. And we will go inside the Hans Martin Schleier Hall where the gymnasts are preparing for the final event today, the floor exercise. First place. So from the shortest gymnast in the competition, we now go to the tallest gymnast at five feet five. This is Verona Vandeleur from the Netherlands. Well, she's been using this music for a couple of years. She's already won a bronze medal here on the bars at this World Cup final. That's a beautiful and difficult pass. She won a bronze on the vault as well, so she's having a good day. The 
Dutch team has improved greatly in the last couple of years. We first saw her at the Junior European Championships in Paris in 2000. That's an extra pass. She's using that to get a little more bonus to upgrade her start value. That was going for a triple turn. I hope the judges will give this to her. <laughs> Those judges are tough. I doubt it. She had a good year at the European Championships. She won five medals and, and finished second in the all-around to Svetlana Horkina. That was packed with acrobatic skills. This is a double twist layout, punch front layout. Well, the judges like it from a 9-9 start value. Her final score of 9-4-1-2 is good enough for the gold. So here are the final results in floor exercise. Vandalur Zhangnan of China gets the silver, and Alana Slater of Australia finally gets her medal at this World Cup final. Well, it's been a long, exciting season of gymnastics, but that's it from the World Cup final here in Stuttgart, Germany. For Nadia Komenich, I'm Bart Connor. We'll see you next time.